What do y'all think about study two? Survey. Okay, I agree. That is a sample survey. And that leaves what for study three? Observational. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go over this next part together. If you look at question two, um, question two there says... In each study in problem one, there was an association between amount of exercise and blood pressure. Assume that in each case, the difference in mean blood pressure was statistically significant. Answer the following questions for each study. Uh, so question A says, is it reasonable to conclude that it was the exercise that caused the lower blood pressure? What do you guys think about for study one? Do you think that the exercise was the reason? I think so, <clears throat> because you're asking students, this group to exercise, this group not to. Um, <clears throat> so yes, I do believe that it was the exercise that caused the difference. B, can you do this, and this is the kind of the toughie, can you generalize the results of this study to all of the students in your school? Do you think that we can generalize these results to all the students in the school? Okay, I'm seeing a few heads shake no. Why do you think that it's we can't? You're looking for the flaws here. Okay, I agree, we can't. But what's the key? The key here is volunteers. Okay, the key here is you get volunteers. So when you think about <clears throat> volunteers, think about the people that typically volunteer for stuff. Okay, um, you've got some lurking variables going on. Uh, people that are going to volunteer for a study like this, they're they probably are exercising anyways, um, or they they may tend to. Uh, be more active. They may tend to be healthier people. Who knows? But the key here is because of the volunteers. Uh, you cannot generalize this to all the students in your school. Okay, you would have to randomly select 30 students from the entire population to be able to generalize this. And then part C says exactly what can we conclude uh, the answer to that is that exercise lowers blood pressure for those involved in the study. It's not that um, the results aren't valid, it's just we can't apply them, we can't generalize them <clears throat> to everyone. Okay, <clears throat> study two is a sample survey. We took a list of all the students in our school and we used a random digit table to select 30 of them, so that's good. <clears throat> we take their blood pressure and then have them fill out a questionnaire you divide them into those who exercise a lot, who exercise less. You find that the mean blood pressure of those who exercise more is lower. So let's answer these three questions again. Is it reasonable co to conclude? I think that's pretty obvious. Um, yes, it is reasonable to conclude that exercise means lower blood pressure. Um, can we generalize this to everyone in the school? I think we can here because we took a list of all the students, okay? Um, we took a list of all the students and randomly selected 30 of them. So yes, we can apply these results to everybody. So what can we conclude? So in general, more exercise equals lower blood pressure. Now, you don't have to phrase it exactly the way that I did, but <clears throat> I think that's the easiest way to, to phrase it. Okay, let's answer the questions for the observational study. 
So this one's a little different. We're talking about um, the students that have visited the school nurse. Um, we ask them to fill out a questionnaire about how much exercise they get. We find that the mean blood pressure the students who exercise more is lower than the ones that exercise less. Do you think that it was the exercise that caused the lower blood pressure in this case? Okay, I see a few head shaking no. <clears throat> um, I agree. Not necessarily. It may be, um, but I don't know if anyone's ever experienced this. Some of the people, uh, some of them felt sick when they went to the nurse's office. Has anyone ever been sick and your blood pressure bottoms out? Okay, you're not feeling well. Some of them may have not felt well because their blood pressure had dropped. Um, so <clears throat> it's not necessarily the exercise in this case. Okay, um, B, can we generalize it? No, because we are looking at a select population here. We're looking at the um, students that visited the nurse's office. We're not looking at a random sample of everyone. Uh, in the school. And what can we conclude? I don't really think there is anything definitive that we can conclude uh, from this study because there's just too many definitive. There, there are too many variables going on here. Okay, um, Some of these kids were sick. Uh, you're talking about just the kids that go to the nurse's office and their blood pressure and their opinions about how much exercise they get, there are just too many variables to be able to make a good conclusion uh, from these results. Okay, so <clears throat> I want you to flip over this paper.